also recording this for YouTube. This one isn't going to get streamed. Um, reason being, I was just a little bit concerned. Or it's not getting streamed just yet. Yeah, the reason being, I was just a little bit concerned about... Ooh, Simon Bond is following. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Simon. Also known as Glowworm, or more recently, I, I am the GOAT. Ron Henderson, oh, fantastic. Really pleased with that. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Brilliant. Okay, the game's just loading. Oh, my word. Look at this. They're all coming through. Michael. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, Michael there is pretty well known to the football community here in the UK. Oh, my word. That's my Faja. Steve Stevenson, thanks for the follow. Wow, look at all these, uh, these follows here. This is brilliant. Wow, thank you so much, guys. Look at our jars overflowing. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing that's happening right now. Look at that. Sparky Sniper, or just Sparky now, as he likes to be known as. Rob Heath as well. We've got Rob, Dan, loads of people getting involved. Okay. Wayne, brilliant, thank you. Thank you very much for the follow. Let's take you over to the live scene. Just because otherwise I will inevitably forget all about the live scene. There we go. Just in a vest today. It's pretty warm. The heat outside is intense. Mark, thank you very much. Let's just have a quick look here. Let's see. Oliver Webster, thank you. Got loads of you coming through. Jamie Owens as well. Sean Glasswell, Danny Pinkney, Alistair Pring. Loads of you getting involved. So thank you very, very much. Okay. So this is what happened last time. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. It's why I wanted to record it before we go live. So those of you who follow the Twitch stream will probably notice that we're not... Hey, here we go. Here we are. Good. The match is on. That's what I like to see. Oh, okay, so let's go live then. Excellent, we're live, super. So, welcome to this, the seventh round of the Totally Relaxed Blood Bowl League. Uh, this is the Marum Tornadoes versus the Bare Ass Bandits. We were meant to play yesterday, but a few things got in the way that have meant that we had to postpone the match. Postpone it till today. Ooh, they're going for a wizard. That's a pretty bold choice, I like it. Bold choice, but I like it. Cool. Let's pop that there so I can see what you all have to say. So, yep, this is round seven of the Totally Relaxed Blood Bowl League. We're getting lots of follows coming through. Pretty intense number of follows, actually, which is great to see. We're here at the Bear Cage Stadium with the Bear Ass Bandits. There they are, looking very suave. Coach here, King Khan, has been saying, struggled a lot with the Kislev Circus. Not been performing very well for him. Here they are, resplendent, looking majestic, fired up for the match. They were chomping at the bit yesterday to get playing, and now the Marum Tornadoes 
are ready to rock and roll onto the pitch. Fantastic. Okay, so I think we are going to kick the ball. Going to kick this ball, so let's have a look here. Yep, excellent. We've got our counter there. Formidable blitzer. Just moving some of the players around, getting them into some, getting them into some decent positions here. Now I need to pay attention to who is on the field because we have a few players who are a little bit bashed about. Now, do I want him on the pitch? We could have him. We're going to swap those round. It'll be good to see uh, Gon Musidon uh, having a game there. He's uh, not taken as bad a knock really. He's a little bit slow. He's got a bit of a limp, but he's not taken nearly as bad. Um, okay, let's have a look, see if we can't spread these out a little bit more. A little bit of camaraderie there with the coaches. Um, let's see how that goes. Put these in here, because they are easy targets. I think we're going to leave it there. We'll probably swap those two around just so he can get into the action a little more. It's our AV7 block lineman. Okay. Yep, I think we're going to go with that. Let's have a look, see how that goes. Okay, so Ali Akounen is going to try and get the ball in the far end there. It's a good throw. The Tornado is managing to catch the Kislev on the back foot here. It's just a single dodge through there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go, go. And he could get underneath the ball. Who's going to help him, though? That's the question. One, two, three, four. That one's a little bit trickier. We've got our catcher here. Four, five, six. Mm. Could be a chance to break through. One, two. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Go for it, go for it. Ooh, it's a tricky one. Um, let's see if he can make it. Swoops past Oleg there. Absolutely fantastic there. Titherton managing to make it to the back. Now let's see. Ooh, really needed him to go in there. It's going to be a couple of go for it. He's next to the ball. That's not where we needed him though. That's annoying. We still have the blitz. Question is, who would we want to hit? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. 
Can't quite make it there with uh, with our last turn. Let's have a look. One, two, three, five, six. So that would be a two, three plus, two plus, two plus, three plus, two plus, two plus to get through. Oh, four plus dodge. Oh, no, because of diving tackle. Oh, no, it's not diving tackle. Um, mm, yeah, go on, we'll use the reroll on that one. Let's see if he can make it. He makes it past. Gets underneath where the ball's going to land. That is an incredible play there. Really impressive stuff. <laughs> Here we go. The player is getting into position. Yes, prehensile tail. I completely forgot. You're right. The bear with his chain wrapped around him does have prehensile tail. That was a risky dodge to make. And that's why it was a 4 plus to go in there. There we go. Ooh, it's mighty blow not doing a thing there. Just put him there for now. Going to keep the thrower relatively far back. There we go. Let's see what happens here. And the ball is caught by Arlerton. An amazing blitz there by the... Here we go. The wizard has been used already. Ooh. Arlerton is stunned. The wizard used straight off the bat there. He's hiding somewhere in the crowd. Zaps Arlerton and gets the ball off him. That has to be... That is definitely some premature electrocution right there. Zap on the ball. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Gulag managing to skip, pick the ball up. He's going to try the pass. Oh, it's a beautiful pass. Caught there by, we're about to find out, by Nestor. Gulag there getting a fantastic pass to Nestor. The ball gliding through. We've now got Professor Payne racing across just to give a little bit of assistance to Nestor. It's a good shot against the catcher by Dirty Dan there. A really good shot. That's Rissian injured. Ouch. He's only badly hurt. Do they want to keep Rissian on? I don't think so. They've got the numbers. And that Apo could come in handy to protect the last remaining catcher. Here we go. Taras moving in to try and help out a little bit. Ooh, struggle cuddle. Struggle cuddle the bear. Not the tame bear is not feeling up to Oh Ouch. Nikolay Romanov is knocked out. That's gonna be a turnover. Ooh, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, well, he could just move into there. One, two to there, maybe? Can we get one dice on the ball? No, he's got to go there. Let me come around the side, I think. There we go. Moving in. Hmm. Got a hit here. It's a good shot by Al Ali Akounen. 
Oh, it's a brilliant shot by Ali Khan. An Oleg there, knocked out for the count. That's him. Carried off into the dugouts. Here. Um... Could really do with him moving across there or moving into here. Just trying to think what's going to be the best choice for us. Entirely. Whoa, he is only strength two. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. That's a bit more like it, but there goes. The one dice that we wanted, the reroll we wanted for the one dice. Knocks this player down. Knocks this player down. Oh, another fantastic shot by the High Elves. Ooh, that is him stunned. Ah, of course, the catcher's only strength two. It's a two dice hit. It's a good hit. Knocks his player down. The ball is scattering. Oh, it's going all over the place. The elves really struggling to control it. There we go, and that's where it lands. Um, two plus, two plus, two plus. Three twos in a row. Two plus, two plus, two plus. Mm. What could possibly go wrong here, folks? Here we go. Tithaton racing around. Scoops up the ball. Absolutely brilliant play by Tithaton there. Mm. Now the question is, where do we want this elf to go? We can get a two dice. Time is running out. How far can he reach? Oh, not quite far enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a couple of go for it to get to there. Doesn't really seem worth it. So maybe we can just mark some players for now. Going to leave the catcher down at the backfield. And that's going to be the turn for the High Elves. An incredible turn for the High Elves there. They've managed to get the ball. Off the Kislev Circus, whether they'll be able to keep it or not, we're about to find out. Okay, so we've got a blitz here coming from Igor. Igor only getting pushes. It looks like he's struggling to take down Tithaton. Has another go. Tithaton managing to stay on his feet. Here we go. It looks like Professor Payne is going to have himself a try. Another shot at the elf here. Ooh, interesting. Struggle cuddle, just getting a push there on Mononarian. Or Menonornian, even. I think we mentioned before a lot of Ians in this team. Interesting. Takes. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, takes away the assist, but manages to get his player stood up. And it's still a push. Not only is it a push, pushes him a little bit closer to the end zone. Ooh, that's unlucky for the Kiss of Circus there. They're trying to get in his way. There we go. It's a good hit there by Dirty Dan. Manages to get the shot he wanted. A fantastic hit by him. Oh, that's Baranian. Injured. He's got a pinched nerve. Missing the next game. The numbers starting to dwindle a bit here. It's looking a little bit hairy for the elves. Mm. to have somebody here if we're going to try and push him a little further away. The other option is to get someone around here and do a blitz with him. Break him out. A 
blitz with someone else. Could blitz with this guy. And all we'd really need is a push. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Ali Kaunen going in for the hit. Gets a brilliant shot from Ali Kaunen there. Gets the smash that he wanted. Gets his player down. He is going to move out of there. Freeing up some space for Titherton. Ooh, now then, this is our Blitzer who has diving tackle. So it would be a 2 plus. Would have to be a 4 plus with the diving tackler there. That's a little bit risky. Let's have a look. See how our player gets on. Ooh, choosing whether or not to use diving tackle here. Ooh, gets his player. Fails to take the player down. That's Titherton. Free to try and score. Pushes himself. Goes into the end zone. Scores! Touchdown for the High Elves. An amazing play there by Titherton. Helped by Ali Kaunen, who managed to push the catcher out of the way, free up the space for Titherton to break free. Blitzer, I believe it might have been Oleg there, tried to take down Titherton, but it wasn't enough. And the wizard, of course, is gone now, so no more wizard for that team to have to deal with. So it's not a bad position for the elves to be in. Not even started the second half already. They are 1 0 up. The Elven team setting themselves up. Let's have a look and see how the Kislev Circus do. The Elvish team suffering some nasty injuries there. Two players who are out for the time being. Pinched nerve for Baranian and Rissian just badly hurt. Reluctant to use the Apothecary. Ooh, it's a good throw. An extra reroll for the Tornadoes right in the backfield there. That's going to be a pain. For some reason, they've left Ali Kaunen right in the back of the field. An interesting choice. That is very far back for the Kiss left to have to try and recover. They're going to be hoping that Gula can race into the backfield there, scoop that ball up and bring it down nice and sharpish. Ooh. There goes... Oh, that was a bit of a struggle, and that's taken up some time for the Kiss left. It's a good shot, though, by Taras. Manages to pull off. Ooh, fantastic. Dalgorathian out there for a little while. A brilliant shot. The ball picked up by Gulag. Runs it to the center of the pitch. Well, near the center. Is this Nestor moving in to protect him? Yeah, here we go. We've got Dirty Dan and Nestor looking after Oleg. Struggle cuddle. Just nudging his opponent there. Is this going to be Professor Payne looking to get a nice hit there? He goes for the shot. Just a push for now. Just a shove there from Anton. The Elves managing to stay on their feet for now. Just the one who's been uh, knocked to the ground. Mm, of course, the tricky thing with the Kiss of Circus here is their leaping. Leaves them in a pretty good position. When it comes to repositioning themselves. How far can he get to? Can only get to about halfway up the pitch. Could try and get the ball away. Go for this blitz. Here we go. To the ton. Managing to hit his man. His man goes down. He is going to to there. The elves 
getting stuck in to the center of the field. Ooh, it's a good shot from Swindwheel. Knocks his player back. Ooh, good shot there. Okay, interesting. Eagle wrestling our counter to the ground. <laughs> I think that's probably where the team is going to stay. Yep. Yeah. I think that's it for them. Okay. Let's have a look, trying to make sure that everybody knows Monkey Juice is streaming. Like I was saying earlier, just held off on this one. There we go. It's another follow. Ooh, it's just the push there by Struggle Cuddle, who is struggling to get these players on the ground. Ooh, it's a good hit there by Taras. Oh, a brilliant hit there from Taras. Managing to injure Suindwil. Oh, we might need to use the Apo there because we are running out of players fast. Um, oh, he's only AV7. We're going to have to leave it for now. It's a good shot by Professor Payne there against Ali Cowanen. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So they're obviously a little bit concerned about uh, Tithaton here. Decided that they are going to surround him. Uh, it's a bit of a tough break for him. But uh, there you go. What are you going to do? Okay, a lot, a lot of the players on the floor here. I probably spoke too soon when I was saying that they were doing a pretty good job staying on their feet. Mm, this is a tough one. these have no they don't so that would be a two three four plus three plus ouch that's not nice Let's see if we can't do something here so oh that's a three plus dodge already okay let's see if we can't get some elves in some decent positions. Let's have a look. See how the team gets on. Okay, not doing a bad job of uh, repositioning themselves for now. Bearing in mind that they can, of course, leap over all of this. It's worth remembering. Just to get away. Ooh, the four up with the reroll didn't work out. It was either that or he gets pummeled by the Kislev team. Okay, the elves trying to force the Kislev team to swap sides.
And they're doing just that. Changing over to the other side of the pitch. And of course down here we have Ali Kaunen waiting. And we totally remembered that he was there. Interesting. Looks like they're bracing themselves for a dive on the cage here. That is our counter, just managing to avoid getting knocked down there. Nestor, racing in to help out Dirty Dan, who's going for the attack. It's a good shot against Ali Kaunen there. Ali Kaunen, knocked down, but looks like he's not doing too bad for himself. It's not a great shot from Igor, who just manages to push our counter. Ooh, risky play there. Professor Payne, just getting the push, decides not to follow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can reach... The hapless catcher. Interesting. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven to hit. Elves racing across the other side of the pitch now. It's pretty impressive the speed that they have when they want to move quickly. I think we're about to see our counter try to make this blitz. Uh, it's pretty risky. It's a four plus dodge. Is it going to come off? We're about to find out. Oh, it's not. Fails the dodge and he's stunned. That's our counter, Ferendalan. He's going to have to recover himself. Here we go, Struggle Cuddle, just shoving us Ali Akounen around a little bit more. Interesting. Racing in for the hit there, Professor Payne. It's a good shot against Gon Musidan. Gon Musidan getting knocked to the ground there. And that, of course, frees up Igor. Everyone's going to be wondering, what is the plan for Igor here? Looks like they're going to try and set the cage up a little further down. Interesting, the Kislev Circus moving around to the other side of the pitch again. The ball carrier quite far behind. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. They don't have a huge number of turns left. Ooh, pushing himself to try and get a little bit further along. Interesting. Goes for the hit against Titherton. Titherton managing to stay on his feet. Mm, doesn't follow Titherton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's another. Mm. Oh! Doesn't make the dodge there. That's unlucky for him. I 
far did he move? So he is in scoring range. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and do a little something about that. I don't like that at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go, go. So that's three twos, four twos, two, 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 two. Lots of twos. From him, it would be two, three, one, four plus. So I think we're not going to risk that way. We are going to go around here like so. Just to try and make it a little bit tricky for them to get through. It's not impossible to get through, but just a little tricky for them. Ooh. Mm. Here goes nothing, folks. So three plus dodge, the two dice. Uh, let's do the two two plus first. Oh, <laughs> of course we failed that. Well, at least we know we would have failed the very first dodge we would have made over yonder. So that it's definitely not safe. The ball's not safe at all from an attack there. If I fail that, then he can just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go, go. If I fail that one, he makes it two. So I think we're going to have to go for it and see what happens. Manages to make the dodge there. That's Mananornian. Uh, it's by no means foolproof. Here we go. Time for the crazy play. Let's see how we get on. Titherton. Races across, makes all of his dodges. Oh, and it's just a push. It's just a push. I'm going to follow that up. That's a three plus dodge. He can hit one out of the way, but he can't hit both. He has to try and get this player down. We're going to end the turn there. Let's see what happens. That's no rerolls for either team now. It's two turns for the kiss left to score, so it's certainly possible that they'll be able to make it through. The elves there forming a nice little line. Here we go. Oh, it's a great shot from Anton Baratinsky there. Knocks down Titherton. Titherton doesn't look too winded. That's going to free up. Gulag there carrying the ball. A good shot as well from Struggle Cuddle. Okay. Is this Professor Payne? No, Dirty Dan going for the hit. An excellent hit. The Kisser getting pow after pow with this attack. Fantastic shots there. Dirty Dan taking down Ali Kaunen. Remains to be seen what's going to happen with the ball carrier. It's looking like the Kislev might be feeling little too confident about being able to get the ball down the pitch. Okay. This is Gulag racing down the pitch with the ball there. He is he is capable of being hit. Still capable of being hit. So it's an interesting choice for the Kislev team there. We're going to struggle to get through that screen now. The screen holding. OK. 
Okay. That is Professor Payne moving in to try and get in the way of those players. It's not likely to be enough. Titherton just racing in just to give a, a helping hand there. Gomusidon standing up. Just trying to take care of the bear. Ooh, it's an attempt at taking down Professor Payne by Dogarathian. Makes the hit. He is going to stay where he is. Ooh, it's a great shot there. Oh! Ooh, looks like he is the Professor of Pain through experience rather than through dishing it out in this instance. Ooh. And, ooh, it's two dice blitz here. go. Alatan fancying himself a go at the ball. Makes the dodge. Manages to get the hit. It's a good hit. It's a great hit. Going to knock him down where he is, I think. The ball loose. Arlatan just moving next to it, just to make it a little bit awkward. Just a push there from Menanonian. And this is a good shot by Ali Kaunen. Gets the hit on his man. Takes him to the ground. Whew. It's a tough one for the Kislev Circus. They need to recover this ball. The ball is now loose. They've just stood up. One of their best scoring threats. I guess they're going to be hoping to get the ball to someone. It's just a push. But that's all they need. Dirty Dan pushing Arlatan off the ball. Here we go, folks. Oh, no. The ball pickup is failed. Oh, that is really unfortunate for the Kiss of Circus. Not able to get the score they sorely needed. Wow. That is really unlucky. <laughs> It's a good shot by Titherton. Knocks his player down. Doesn't do much damage. The, the High Elves really trying to bring a lot of punishment to the Kislev Circus. Ooh, that's a stun for Taras. He's still on the pitch. Ooh, it's a good shot by Dagar Dagarathian Narosame. Follows up. Oh, a fantastic hit there. It's not a removal from the pitch. But it's definitely sending a message. A clear message to the Kislev Circus. Wow. Unlucky for the Kislev Circus there. Very close to getting the score that they sorely needed. Ooh, their knockouts are all back. That's three injuries for... The Elves, so they are down players. No knockouts. The rest of the team is back. My opponent there, hoping he's better on defense. With the number advantage, he may well be. 
It's going to be a close one, though. I just want to say again, thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate the support for the stream. We've had a lot of people who've taken up following the Twitch stream. That's going to be the main focus for me, is streaming on Twitch with this commentary. Uh, of course, you can go over to YouTube to watch the games that you may have missed. Uh, so this one, because I was a bit apprehensive about advertising it, you might have missed this game. And you can head over to YouTube uh, to see that if you're watching the replay on Twitch. Um, but for other games as well, you might have missed a lot of them featuring the serpents. I mentioned uh, yesterday, some of you might have missed it, about a new league that I'm starting with some friends, um, with some old friends. Uh, and that looks like, looks like it'll be really good, really exciting. Some great teams on there. Brilliant coaches. I'm going to be streaming that. Most, more often than not, we're going to be playing on Thursdays. But I will likely be doing coverage of the replays for those games that I will inevitably not get to watch. So I'm going to try and cover the whole thing from start to finish with commentary. Uh, but, but yeah, do check out the YouTube channel. Um, if you just uh, type in at YouTube Monkey Juice or have a look uh, for the link on things like the Facebook page. And we also have a Facebook page. If you have a look at Monkey Juice Blood Bowl Commentary. And uh, give us a follow on there. And you can get uh, updates on whenever we are streaming. And if we've got videos up and things like that. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get this team set up. Um, right, so we want our catcher there. we throw her there with our catcher here. wondering what's going to be the best thing to do here. Might as well go wrestle for wrestle. And of course they can just leap over the defense. So there's only so much we can do if they get a blitz. They get a blitz, they get a blitz. We'll just have to try and deal with that. I really don't like my blitzer being next to the bear. There we go, I'll probably put him there. Okay, let's see how we get on. Ooh, okay, pretty crazy half. A fantastic blitz for the Tornadoes who managed to recover the ball, get it off the Kislev after they took the ball away get that score nice and early on oh that's nice as well an extra re-roll that's good that's the kind of thing that we want One, two three four five six let's have a look see how far those players can get down the pitch not nearly far enough let's start with some hits see if we can't bring a little bit of pain to this team there we go it's a good shot right off the bat doesn't get the uh, takedown that we wanted, but that's okay. I uh, really don't want to be taking on that bear if I can help it. Here we go. Blitz coming from our counter. It's a little bit more experience compared to the rest of the team. Let's knock him back a space. Smashes him. Back down the field. Doesn't do too much damage. He was kind of hoping to uh, dish out a little bit more pain there. Doesn't quite make it. Ooh, some great hits from the high elf team.
Sid Hondo scoops up the ball. This is his first game, I believe, for the Tornadoes. Elves moving into position there. He managed to get the ball, form a little bit of a line. Nothing too formidable. The Kislev uh, shouldn't be too worried just yet. Had our counter going for a hit. Didn't manage to get the punch that he wanted delivered. Here we go. Got a blitz here from Dirty Dan. Just shoves Tithaton. Tithaton, very difficult to get on the ground. Struggle cuddle. Having a think about what he wants to do next. The Kislev moving over to one side. Maybe he's uh, overemphasizing that side a little bit. There we go. And that is, I believe, Oleg. Is that Oleg? No, Gulag, sorry. Taking control of that side. Along with Anton. Struggle Cuddle is definitely struggling to take down the players here. Really struggling to get the players down. Anton Baratinsky racing down to try and put a little bit of pressure on the ball carrier there. It's an interesting move by him. Ball still safe for now. Here we go. It's a great shot there by Dargarathian. Who follows the hit. Oh, it's a fantastic shot. Anton Baratinsky. His eyes roll to the back of his head. He's knocked out. He's out for the rest of the drive. The team now just wondering how they're going to get across the rest of the team a little bit split here here we go our counter going for the hit it's just a push this time nothing too fancy decides to stay put looks like he is going to run down the pitch. Tries to push himself into the field a little bit more. Manages to make it. It's a good run by him. Arleth Tan. down the field. He also pushes a little bit harder than he needs to. Ooh. Looks like it's just going to be a shove for now by Menononian. Mm. The ball's still safe. <laughs> How far can they get to? Catcher there. Can only get so far. So it's going to be pretty safe for him to go here. Mm. Wondering what to do next. Do I risk two dice uphill here? Could be that we get a push. That's all we need just to make that a tiny bit safer. Although not very much. I'd only push him to there. 
which allows them to break through here. Uh, it's a tough one. It's tough to know what to do. Two dice uphill with the reroll. He's going to get pushed out of the way at the very least anyway. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. I think we're going to end it there. Okay, so let's have a look at what the Kislev team doing. We've got Nikolai Romanov. Running around to mark Arlatan there. Ali Kaunen being marked by Taraz. It looks like Constantine could have a go, but he's uh, pretty badly hurt from a previous match. Oh, it's just another shove by Professor Payne. Professor Payne has been struggling a little bit to get much out of his blitzes. Ooh, it's uh, not a great hit there by Constantine. Just the one dice, because as I say, he's badly hurt in a previous match. It's an interesting tactic that the Kislev are going for. It looks like they're just trying to cause some pain. The Blitz is getting into good positions here. And there we go. It's just another push by Struggle Cuddle. Struggle Cuddle really finding it difficult to make headway this game. Interesting. Very interesting. Oleg Mordinov running down the field there. It's a good hit by Igor. Ah! Igor pulling in. Good hit there. Tithaton left very open. Tithaton open in the midfield there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Whoa. What do we think to that, folks? Only has to push him out the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a one, two, three, four, five, six. If he makes a couple of go for it, so we'll see how this blitz goes. It's only one dice. Looking for the push. Gets the push. Follows his man. Sid Honda running up the pitch. Oh, looks like he's struggling to push himself up the pitch there. Just about makes it. Here we go. Constantine attempting to catch the ball. Fails to catch the ball there. Our counter staring down at the... Whoa, runs into the end zone. Second score there for the High Elves. 2-0 to the High Elves, getting themselves out of a pretty tricky situation there. Looks like it's back to defense for them with few players. That's going to be a really tough defense to have. But better to be for defending 2-0 up than having to defend just the 1-0, which we were having before. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Knockout still off the field. Not coming back just yet. Precious few players left for the Elvish team. Okay, let's see how that goes. Very few players left. 
And there's a lot of turns left, so it could still turn out a draw. Just have to see how the Kislev get on and what kinds of crazy things the elves might be able to pull off next. I don't know about you, but it is really warm right now in the UK. Oh my word, and the fans want to get involved. They decide they're going to launch a rock at Constantin. Ooh, Constantin removed from the pitch. Here we go. An attempt by Professor Payne, again failing to take down our counter. Decides to follow up this time. It's pretty bold. Big gaping hole here in the defense of the Kislev team. There we go. Being filled in by Dirty Dan there. Who spotted it. He's saying, hold up, fellas. Ooh, a very formidable screen being set up there. Here we go. This is Gulag, I believe. Or is this Nestor? Nestor. Sweeping along the line there. Picks the ball up. Here we go. Struggle Cuddle gets a good shot again against Gon Musidon. Gon Musidon takes the hit. It's a pretty brave guy. Two plus, two plus, hit. There's only one dice at the moment, <laughs> so they're going to need to move across. Anyway, starting to make the moves across the field. Now, they want to be wary not to overcommit. Looks like they're trying to avoid that. It's a good dodge there by Menonorian. Ooh. Oh, that is a tough one for our counter. Going to have another go. Gets a good shot against his man, Professor Payne there. A fantastic shot against Professor Payne. Oh, my word. Professor Payne is injured. Oh, just badly hurt. So he will be back very soon. That is going to be pretty rough for the team. Here we go. Racing in. Arlatan sweeps past the defense like they didn't exist. Just gets the push again. Just a push. Decides to follow his man. I think that's going to be it for the team. Alatan in a very scary situation there. Ooh, here we go. Straight in. Dirty Dan not messing around. Goes for the attack. Oh, it's a bad shot from him. He's really struggling. Manages to get the hit that he needs, though. Just about. Oh, it's a fantastic hit against Alatan there. Alatan looking pretty winded. Struggle cuddle just returned. Struggle Cuddle taking the hit there. Totally unprecedented play by Struggle Cuddle. I don't know where that came from, folks. I think that might have been a misclick. Wow. That is really unfortunate. Now, the ball is not exposed. Not yet. 
It may well be soon. Ooh, a great shot there from Minanornian. Great shot. He follows that one up. Titaton running in for the hit. Oh, it's not a good shot again. That's it. No more re-rolls for the elf team. Oh, that's not nice. Stunned. That's a stun for Nestor. One, two, three, four, five. go. It's a tough pickup for Sidondur. See if he manages it. Oh, he makes the pickup. Fails the dodge. Oh, and he's stunned for now. Oh, that's unfortunate for Sidondur. He's hoping to try and get the pass away. The elves getting a little bit greedy there. Oh, it's a good block by Taras. Fantastic block by Taras. Takes his player down. Dalgorathian. Looks like he's not doing too badly. He'll be back up next time. Ooh, it's... Oh. That was Struggle Cuddle really finding it difficult to get up off the ground. I think he forgot for a moment where he was. Manages to get up in the end, though. down in the bottom f end of the field. It's a crazy play from the Kislev. Tried to scoop the ball up. They just about don't make it. That's unfortunate for them. Looked like a sure thing, to be honest. to do. A diving tackle there. That's not nice. We don't want that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's a risky pass. Risky pass. One, two, three, four, five. One's a little bit more likely. What have we got here? Okay, going for the hit. It's a good shot there by Menonian. He's been on fire this game. He's done a really good job of dealing with this team. Another good shot there. Titherton doing his job. Making a nuisance of himself. Oh, that's a stun. Oh, that is unfortunate for Mordanov. Just moving in there. Here we go. 
see if you can make the dodge. Makes it. Scoops up the ball. Tries to get the pass off. Ooh, fails the pass there. That's okay. It scatters over to Gone Musidon, who says, Don't worry, buddy. I'll take care of that. Interestingly, we haven't seen a single leap from the Kislev Circus. That is their forte. Leaping all over the place. Hopefully we'll get to see one before the end of this match. Struggle cuddle. Having a look. Ooh. Nikolay gets a brilliant shot against Ali Akounen. Ali Akounen is flying into the turf. Now we see Igor Polonin racing up the pitch. Oh, struggle cuddle. Finding it a little bit tricky to figure out what he's meant to be doing right now. But he just about makes it and shoves Tithaton up the pitch. Ooh, a risky dodge there by the Blitzer. Here we go, folks. Let's see what the elves have in mind. Just shoving Gon Musidon out of the way. Unfortunate. That is Sidonder failing to get the dodge away. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, okay. Gone Musidon still has the ball. But for how long? All the kiss have to do. Hey, Grimslick. Better late than never. That's absolutely fine, buddy. Don't forget that um, the games that I stream, more often than not, I'll put them up on the YouTube and you can catch up on, with the games uh, in your own time on my YouTube channel. Ooh, here we go. It's another risky dodge being contemplated by Dirty Dan here. Okay, Nestor running in. Oh, and he slips over. That's going to be that for the elves. Uh, for the Kislev. Hmm. Uh, it's going to have to be a pass for Gon Musidon to make this score. It's a tricky one. Okay, well, here goes. Gone Musidon, racing down the pitch. Tries to get the pass off. Oh, and he fails. The ball's slipping and sliding around in his hands. Hits the deck. They had a chance. But Tithiton there just going a little bit too far down the pitch. The Arcana, sorry. A little bit too far down the pitch for a handoff. Forgetting that Gon Musidon has a little bit of a dodgy leg from a former match. The Kislev team do have a scoring threat. Are they going to be able to get the ball to him? Five, six, seven. 
pass it down here one two three four five six hand off so if Nestor can pick that ball up and safely pass it to Igor Igor can run down the pitch if he's uh, if he's quick enough to get away from Tithaton and Nikolai who isn't being marked by Elia Kaunen could get the score for the Kislev team so at least then they come away with something remains to be seen yeah game seems to have gone well the air grim slick uh, we had a fantastic first half where the elves managed to get a uh, blitz get a player under the ball they did lose the ball but managed to recover it pretty soon after to get the score they needed and then uh, just about managed to repel a return score from the kislev before going into the next half where we were attacking oh yes i said we might see a leap and we do gonna see a pickup here oh failed pickup there by who i believe was nestor tried to pick the ball up oh it might have been oleg and that's a victory for the marum tornadoes really good game for their seventh round be interesting to see who got the mvp in that round as always we're going to head over to the locker room to find out okay so the winnings are a little bit on the low side let's have a look see if we can encourage the fans to give us a little bit more and the answer is no a resounding no so that's all we're going to get for now okay gone musidon getting the mvp i would have said that that final play where he failed the pass you know kind of made that mm, would have mitigated that but that's fine Uh, let's have a little look at SPPs, how we did for SPPs there. Uh, so we got... That's weird. Okay, so we got quite a lot of SPPs on Gumusidon uh, is obviously the MVP. And then our counter obviously managed to get a casualty and a touchdown to the Tom with his touchdown. Sid Honda did manage to get one pass off. So that's good. Excellent. Let's have a look see if any of the players have leveled up. Oh, we've made... Uh, the Bear Ass Bandits managed to make all of their passes. Only 50% of the catches for us. Pass worked only 33% of the time. Okay, that's fine. Made most of our go for it, so that's nice. Yeah, we took the hit from the Lightning Bolt really early on. So the Lightning Bolt actually hit before the game had even started. So that's just after the Blitz before the Kislev team took their first turn. The first turn of the match. Uh, cool. Let's validate that. And let's have a quick look at the team. See if we've got any level ups. I think we may do. No. No level ups this time. But what we can do is we can buy another player. So unfortunately Baranian there is going to be missing a match. It's unfortunate for him. Um, it's just, I like to have them in uh, nice order. There we go. So, you know, that he's not going to be coming back until next game. Let's buy a player. Uh, buy a catcher. Ah, oh, wait, cancel purchases. Let's try that again. By a player, but what I want to do is we're going to change the name to so the Jammy Blodger. You have been really supportive of the stream. Let's give you character. So, Jammy Blodger, you are now a catcher on our high elf team. Good, yeah, very ballsy plays. Yeah, they, the, yeah, I kind of uh, tried to push the limits of the uh, elvish nonsense as far as I could and thankfully this time it worked um, the first few games with this team was just it was just failing dodges left right and center it was really awful um, but we managed to make it this time which is nice um, we can see here we just need to get one pass with Titaton and he can level which is great um, touchdown for Ali Kaunen and he can get his second skill turning into a really good lineman piece there one more pass 
for Sid on Dern, he can uh, level up as well. So plenty of level ups uh, lined up for the next match. But for now, that's everything for the Marum Tornadoes. And um, I'll just end it here for the YouTube video uh, with the Twitch stream. I'm just uh, going to take us through a little bit about the league that I'm going to be starting with some friends. Uh, well, starting it tomorrow is the first match. Um, but for now, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching the stream. Really appreciate your support. Do make sure you head over to Twitch if you have it and uh, give us a follow. If you don't have Twitch, get it. Give us a follow. And you can also check out, there's a bunch of other streams on there as well that are really good to watch if you're enjoying watching the Blood Bowl. Also, do be sure to go and check out our Facebook page, uh, or my Facebook page, Monkey Juice Blood Bowl Commentary. And uh, give that a like as well. Uh, show some of your support. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I'll catch you next time. Oh, before I go, Mondays, 6 p.m., MBBL Online Spin. And I'm going to try and make Thursdays, 7, 7.30. That's going to be our uh, Quest Master League nights. Um, as, as often as I can. Okay, thanks again. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers for watching.